Hello, this is the third video, <clears throat> about 10 minutes, and um, I wanted to go back a little bit to the transfer. Um, this here is a, um, a life size or a canvas size um, a printout of the photograph that I took that was modified in PaintShop Pro, which is a, a program similar to Photoshop. And what I did was transfer the uh, the um, photo onto the canvas, and it, I, beforehand I had measured where how how big I thought it should be on the canvas, and where I placed these um, images. This one right here, right about here on the face, is at a golden ratio spot, which I found by. Um, uh, making a diagonal line from the left end to the upper right end and then making a line from the lower right side to the middle of the um, top part of the, the canvas. And that basically had the uh, point of focus right around here in the head. This was somewhat near um, its spot on, on the... Uh, basically what you want to do is divide your painting in thirds and then in thirds again. And at the uh, point where the lines meet in the upper quadrant, lower left quadrant, upper right quadrant, and um, lower right quadrant is where the focal point should be for a, um, a golden mean uh, type placement. Or you can do, you know, the diagonal, doing the diagonal up and then diagonal to the middle and, and that will give you the golden um, ratio placement too. Okay, I also wanted to tell you that uh, to do the transfer here, I used um, Sarrell's transfer paper for precision tracing on any surface. Anyway, it's blue. And uh, there are a lot of transfer papers like this, so there's different colors too. Okay, so you can see where most of the skin for this painting is done over here. And um, now I want to, oh, I also have uh, smaller versions of, uh, of the printouts so that I can hold them in my hand when I'm looking for what color goes where on the face. <clears throat> and my basic mixing colors for um, uh, the, the flesh tones are burnt sienna, and then I mix a little white in it, and that's the basic color. So, so this there, this, that's the basic tone. For, for flesh tone. But what I do is, um, depending on what color it really is, I, uh, I mix in either cadmium red, yellow ochre, cadmium yellow light for the medium to light um, tones. Then I have ultramarine uh, blue and violet for the shadow tones and to make a darker um, uh, base of the um, flesh color, I use burnt, uh, burnt umber instead of burnt sienna. So for instance, right up high on the cheek, it's um, kind of a yellowish color. So in, in, in fact, it's kind of a bright yellowish color. So let me put in some white and some cadmium yellow to that right there and right over here it's a light yellow color okay that's one one now um, a little farther down there's a little bit of red in it so I add some red to that color And that's over here. I add some red to it. Um, it gets a little bit lighter. So I add some more white. And 
to it as it goes down here. And uh, then it gets a little darker. In fact, there's a, a little bit of um, shadow tone in there. So I'm going to mix a little bit of violet and a touch of blue. put that right in here. Now of course I'll blend in you know all those at the seam lines there. Um, but that's how I will will go about um, using my my tracing um, to put in all, all the colors and I'll just go you know inch by inch there along and sometimes less like right right here on the eyebrow or under the eyebrow, there's a very dark area. So I can put even some more uh, violet and blue. Put that over here. Actually, let me, um, excuse me, <laughs> uh, let me focus this in a little bit better for you. There you go. Now you can see the individual spots a little better. Um, okay, so here this was a little yellow, this was a little redder, a little lighter red, and this had some blue and violet in it. And um, I keep going and, and then I'll, I'll finish up like that. With the hair, I'll, I'll continue to use um, uh, flesh colored tones, but um, the hair will be kind of golden colors and brown colors for, for both of them. Um, if you haven't recognized it by now, the, the model is me, and um, it's the same person in both. So psychologically, um, this person has, um, has put into her, her memory her own, her own um, likeness, uh, finding fault with her, even though it may have been her mother um, many years ago that's being cruel and... and um, um, making bad remarks towards her. Um, I don't know if I said this, this is an allegorical painting um, about um, uh, the subconscious and how it internalizes um, uh, bad remarks and, and um, uh, uh, bad upbringing, um, you know, hurtful upbringing and how it's internalized um, as an adult. And this little person down here is actually her again, but this is her her mothering side with her arms outstretched, wanting to give a hug to her to basically say, you know, forget all those horrible memories. Um, and anyway, that's that's the the meaning of the painting. Okay, um, well that's it for for this until the painting's finished.